Hey, yo, Jackie Hollywood popping. And if you don't know what popping mean, popping mean popping. And popping go popping and popping and popping go popping. What's up? Guess who I'm with right now? Hey, Hasio Macias. What's up, y'all? Y'all, shout out to Jackie, though. You a real one. So, like, I'm in Portland right now, which you is are. really random. Oh, I was gonna pick up my drink, but the flash is on it, so we can't. Yeah, we can't be looking dark as hell like I that. I can't even pick up my beer right now, because I'm, like, holding up my, my bougie-ass light with that, so. He was gonna show me a trick that he could do with his ear, and I'm, like, kind of right. scared to figure out. What could you do with your ear? Put my ear inside of my ear. I'm, I don't know. I don't, I don't get Just it. Just as I said it, put my ear inside of my ear. Look at my ear, bro. Look at my ear, bro. <laughs> like, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. Like, look at my ear, bro. Yo, hey, if I can get it stuck in there, I want y'all to say pop. Okay, do it in again. Three, in three, two, one, say pop. Three, pop. two, oh no, three, two, one. Pop. pop. <laughs> we are here, pop. Poppy. That's so good. We're about to do a Q&A, so make sure to go to our Twitters, at Hasia underscore Macias. And at Jackie Hollywood. Right there. Make sure to follow us. We already did the tweet out, so we have a lot of people asking questions, and we're about to answer your questions. So if you do not follow us right now, for the next video, we're make sure to you. follow us. Maybe that. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys... Make sure to follow us on our social sites to be able to stay consistent with what we do. And we're about to do a Q&A real quick. So go ahead and ask us your questions. And if you have any questions, we're going to be reading through the comments. Ask below. Let's get it. <laughs> I'm pulling on my Twitter right now. Let's do it. Let's see what y'all right. asking. Y'all are asking some major questions right now. and Are they major for real? Dude, are honestly, major? they seem kind of intense. Yeah. I'm really excited about this. You ready for the first question? Yeah. What made you decide that you want to be in the music industry? I feel like I have a message that I want to send out to people. I like to have fun. Dope. I'm never serious, ever, ever, ever. No matter what, like, I'm never serious. I always make a joke out of everything. And if I could put that joke into music and I can make someone smile and I can make someone laugh, then right. I made it. And right. that, that's what I want to do. That's Hell all yeah. it is. I love that. I didn't pick to be in the music industry. I it was just, you. it picked me. Like literally, like I was <laughs> a sprinkle sauce, drizzle or sprinkle. <laughs> oh my God, don't even get me started on that because I won that debate. That's like. Okay, real quick, real quick, real, real quick, real quick. We're gonna deviate from the question. Literally, literally, can I, I can I please tell, tell the why. story? Can I, I please? No, 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 let me start. You can say whatever you want, but give me a second. We are out in Portland. The weather is terrible. It's sort of raining, but it's not like really raining, raining. And I had said, what I had said was, I said, oh, it's drizzling outside. And he looks at me like I'm a, I'm not gonna swear, like I'm an alien. And he mm -hmm. was like, you, you mean sprinkling? And I was like, no, it, it's drizzling. It's not a sprinkler, it's, it's <laughs> drizzling. He's like, no, it's sprinkling. And we right. had this whole argument with drizzling versus sprinkling. And I made him look up the definition and guess what? Guess what? I'm gonna let you tell the end of the story. Go ahead. You go ahead right now. I'm, okay. I'm gonna listen. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. Drizzling versus sprinkling. Drizzling said rain and sprinkling didn't say rain. Drizzling said <laughs> raining lightly and sprinkling just said water going okay. places. So basically, I was correct. <laughs> That's it. Okay, you can go ahead and answer your question now. <laughs> Be right. I was That's chosen. It. He was chosen to be wrong. <laughs> hey, I love that. Thank you. <laughs> at, at times, at times, at times. Like all Everybody the time. is. Guys you know are always mean? wrong. Females, you're always right. Let your man know you're always right. That's it. Honestly, the real reason, like, what I chose music industry was, like... To always be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, imagine, <laughs> imagine. <laughs> no, nah, it was just more of the matter of, like, having, like, social media clout that, like, the clout didn't make me happy and like me freestyling with my homies <laughs> out in high school without like unintentionally trying to be a rapper made me a rapper in my city to where like all the hate in my hometown actually put me on that like my out of town fans couldn't read the sarcasm through tweets of people calling me famous i hear that it actually put me on you what you feel inside like, is real is you no one and can that's tell why I don't have a feel. speech. You know what I mean? Like these like, people behind us who are judging us, but it's okay. Yeah, and they ain't verified. And uh, <laughs> I don't give a f 
I don't. Like, what? Hold up. Second question. I'm sorry, we gotta, you gotta do a lot with the cutting. <laughs> but it will be worth it clips, cut, you know cut, what I cut. mean? You know, that's what editing You know when you do the back to back? So second question, what you love about music? Oh my God, that's hard. Shout out to Epic Tunes Chill. Shout out to you, bro. Shout out, thanks for the question. It makes me feel, it makes me escape do. everything. Like if I'm feeling sad, if I'm feeling like shit, if I feel like the whole world is against me and everybody hates me, I listen to a song that I love. Right, right. Oh, I just like all of a sudden I'm in this other world and like nothing matters. Like I put my headphones in and like everything that's around me, every drama, every like every negativity, everything is just like gone. Like just it goes deep down inside and I feel like I'm like oh. I make the O face. I like that. Like, you don't hear music, you feel music. You know what I mean? I feel it like dope. physically, physically. Like, I feel it. Like I don't just hear yeah, like you're right. Like I feel it. I I feel music the same way. And uh I don't know, music is just too inspiring. Like, the reason that I see music as an inspiration is because, like, little do you know what that person is going through until you hear out how they're feeling and what that vibe does. You really make good music when you let the instrumental and the track trigger an emotion and that emotion turns into the track of you storytelling with your lyrics that you create a melody to be able to fit into that talking about with that emotion, with the beat that that producer felt with your own writing. That's real music. That was deep. I have no idea what That's you just said. Because I'm a couple Jamesons deep, but that was deep. That it's was as music. deep as the Jamesons that I had drank. Yeah. And it was so deep down that you felt the Jameson that what I'm saying, they gonna feel. And what they gonna feel is the Jameson that went inside of me that's also the same way that I feel what you're saying that's going deep down. And it's Major like facts. it's like you know how when you drink it gets really warm, like right here? Yeah. Like that was that was like warm. Uh huh, Jax. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna do the rest of this vlog by myself. We're trying our best to actually create content with our turntness to where like it shouldn't be hidden. You know what I mean? Like like let's be real. Your turntness should not be hidden. This Ooh. lighting is pretty nice actually. I'm yeah, pretty shocked. It's decent. We're like in this hotel in the middle of downtown Portland and I didn't think the lighting was gonna be good. But I mean my skin's looking uh, you see the highlighter right there. I'm so bad at vlogging, I look at myself and I'm supposed to, you're supposed to look at the little hole right there. And I always look at myself. Okay, question number, I don't know, I think three. Trash. Numero tres. Am I good at my espanol? Do you speak Spanish? Uh, poquito. Uh, yo también. Yeah. Como te llamas? Uh, Jackie Hollywood. Pero yo, yo rusio, no España. <laughs> you said me Russia, but me not Spain. Well, that's that what is, you just said. Well, I mean, basically, that's what I meant. <laughs> but me not Spain. No, me hablo pequeño español. Uh, porque en escuela yo learned español. I don't know how to say learn. That is, that wasn't bad. I'll give it to you. Not bad. Read me your next question in Spanish. Second about question. That. Okay. How about it? Let me see if I get it. Okay, okay. okay. so, Spanish, so, so this goes to all my Latino fans. Okay, right I'm going to see if I can get it. So the question is, ¿Qué buscas en tu próxima relación? What do you, wait, what yeah, do you find? Close. What do you look? Your, what, what, what do you look for in your, wait, say the last part again. En tu próxima relación. What do you look for in your next relationship? Yeah. I took ask. Spanish in high school. Yeah, <laughs> that hey, was like ten go. years ago, but it's cool. I have a boyfriend, so I'm not looking for anything in my next relationship because I got one and saved yourself. No, but for real, I'm gonna answer like, what do I look for in a relationship? Is what's your boyfriend's name? Travis. Shout out. This hey, is shout jacket. out to you, Travis. Yo, Travis. This is a fresh <laughs> ass jacket. If she was not your girlfriend, bro, I would go thug on her on Portland shit like this. Give me all shit. Give me all shit, bro. <laughs> I'm playing. But he's a respectful. Shout ass out dude. to you, Travis. <laughs> no, what's for real? The reason that I'm in one um, after a long time of being single is because I found what I was looking for, and that is, A, obviously he has to be cute, but that's obvious. Um, humor, you, ha you, you, mm, you can't be serious all the time. It doesn't work. Um, be a gentleman. Like, I never thought I cared <coughs> about a guy opening doors and pulling out chairs. I never did in my whole entire life until I met this guy, until I met Travis. Like, that is important. I didn't even think I Yo, wanted Travis, that. I open every door too. So every shout out to you. Shout <laughs> like, out to you, no, it's crazy. That, like I didn't realize that guys still do that. It's like, you have to, and man. he walks on you the outside to. of every curb. Like if mm -hmm. I realize this now, if your man lets you walk on the outside of the curb, 
He wants you to die, basically. <laughs> guys yeah. gotta do that. So yeah. like every guy out there, if you're really trying to get the girl you gotta like that you want, Just be a do, gentleman. do the little things little. that your mom told you to do. Honestly, I agree with you too. What I look into a relationship, it's almost like you said gentleman. Mm-hmm. A girl has to be polite. She has to know her manners and her worth. That's literally all I want in a girl. To know her manners and her worth. Because like all of her personality traits, all of her goodness comes out of her worth and her manners. You know what I'm trying to say? Like I'm not trying to meet a girl that's trying to find herself. Because I found myself. And, and that's not me if being too... you can't too... love yourself first... Exactly. You, you know what I mean? So, so it's almost like you can actually date and be with a person that doesn't love themselves. Because of the lust, the compassion, the company, and the attachment. Don't ever fall into that. Next question says, I love you. That's sweet. I'm sorry. I hate you. So, I do love you. I do. And uh, shout out to Brianna, at underscore Bri with two eyes, underscore 143. Okay, next person. Who is one person you would love to collaborate with and why? One celebrity I would work with. It's obviously me, but you can just skip that and go on. To the next. Okay, I'm a name drop. Uh, this person is like a role model to me, a music culture, and I, I honestly would go with Mike Oprah. Stud. Mike Stud. Mike Stud. If you're watching this shit, bro, I still haven't followed you on Twitter because because I don't want to follow you until I'm at 100k on Twitter, just so it can be serious and we can actually like serious. really make real moves. You know what I mean? And by the way, I'm about to drop my song featuring Neo in July, so make sure to listen to that. And that's Wait, not even dropping my heard, song with Sean Kingston. Let's get it. I heard ah. a snippet. And it's she did fire, hear that snippet. It's fire. It's fire. Dude, that horse and by the way, you, it's a, I was literally about to say it's about me. So just keep listening. <laughs> shout so out to all the Geminis out there. Exactly. Shout out to all of y'all. But that's that's who I would work with. Y'all heard that. Next question is this right here. From Saul Lamina at G Mill 281. She asked, a doing, name. doing any tours for the New Year's? I'm going to answer that. Yes. In February, we're going to Europe, Germany, Netherlands, Amsterdam. And I'm touring with Chris Miles, Taylor Kniff, and Cameron Dallas. So make sure to go buy your tickets at Fleet TV. I have no plans to tour, but guess what? I'm going to make those plans in 2018. It's popping. Actually, I'm probably going to post this in 2018. So therefore, I'm in the future. But you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm definitely going to plan on it. Um, check it. me out on Spotify and iTunes, Jackie Hollywood. Do I got that. a couple songs. Cookies. Next question is coming from Kayla Guess 1. And she says, if you were to be stranded in a desert, what are three things you would need with you? That's hard, because I need a lot of things. <laughs> I'm a girl, like, we need a lot of things. <laughs> okay. Is it that time of the month? Are, are you in a breakup? Uh, are you fasting? Do we have service on the island? Because if we have service, I need my phone. If That's we, you getting too technical with well, the if question. Well, if we don't have service, I don't want my phone. Three things without being Jeez. technology. Okay, I'm going to bring a bottle. No, more. How, however many bottles I could bring in Jameson. Because that'll keep me entertained, right? Cause I, and I'm, drunk to where you don't feel. Well, right. When, when I'm drinking, <laughs> I don't really care about where I am or what I'm doing. So I don't care if I'm on a desert, deserted island. Like, whatever. So, Jameson, I am going to bring... A, mm, my head hurts. I'm gonna bring. I feel like you already are stranded. I'm like, I'm like, my brain is stranded because I'm having really bad anxiety discussing <laughs> what I would bring. Because without my phone, I'm nothing. It's hard. Do you realize the only thing you have out of three is Jameson? <laughs> like, bro, I'm weak. She's like, I'm gonna need me a bottle of. Go so that's it. it and she dies so like what i need three so i just need three bottles james <laughs> honestly i don't need water because we're on an island so there's water surrounding all right you guys so as y'all could tell we literally just did this q a right now i hope you guys enjoyed shout out to jackie hollywood check her out 99.7 <laughs> out in the barrier and you were doing a 96.3 out here in Portland, too. So I shout out, out to you on that. Wild 106 Desla. in slow. I'm hey. on afternoons 2 to 7 p.m. For sure. Make sure to check out that, too. Hey, yo. We already popping. Twitter, Instagram. Make sure to check us out. Next vlog is going to be super lit. That's it. Can we go get <laughs> drunk and edit that shit later? Hey, yo. So we got the second part of the vlog right now. We just finished up the Q&A. We're vlogging at a bar. Did oh we God. kill that Q&A, though? Don't leave me I hanging. Guess. Look at my knuckle. Look, this is what I want you guys to do. 
I want y'all to just continue smiling like this. Keep a positive mindset. And make positive. somebody smile. Make somebody smile today for me. Smile for me. <laughs> hey. Can I get a smile? Can I get a smile? Just smile. for the vlog. Just for the vlog. Positivity for the fans. Positivity. All we need is a smile. A smile, right smile. there. Ah oh, man. Ah, oh, he get a tongue out. That's enough. That's enough. Shout out to Jackie Hollywood. And thank you for hanging out with me while you're out here. I hope you're you welcome. Have... I really dedicated my time to you, but you know what I right. mean? It's fine. Make sure to follow her on Twitter and Instagram. Subscribe to her YouTube channel, Daily Vlogs. He's like way better at promoting me than I am. No, I was really lucky to get Jackie Hollywood and everything. Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, YouTube. Just follow me. Follow him. Um, yeah, we're good. Make sure that this is all I ask for everybody watching this this year. That's coming out 2018. Keep a positive mindset. Make somebody smile. Stay grinding and really do what you got to do. Like, honestly, ain't nobody going to make that shit happen for you except yourself. So keep it going. And like I said, make sure to subscribe to her YouTube channel. Just listen to what he's saying because he's right. For sure. <laughs> Bye. That's funny. Peace out, you guys. Stay up.